Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. First of all, this is the first like pre-filmed video I've done in a while. So if I'm rusty, <laughs> just, just bear with me here. We've been going live for, you know, like a month now and I haven't done any pre-filmed content, but I figured I would do it for this occasion because we are playing The Sims which I know like nothing about. We did that one that one video <laughs> where I played The Sims 4 for the first time since I was a kid. Well not even Sims 4, so The Sims period since I was a kid. I haven't played The Sims since Busting Out, which a lot of you guys don't even know what it is because it was for PlayStation. I don't know, I don't know what decade we were in, but it was super old. But anyway, I actually logged back into The Sims and I've been playing and I developed this character who's been kind of fun to play and her story's been unfolding so I thought it would be fun to do a little video on it. Um, only regret I have is I didn't like talk while I was playing so a lot of this is going to be voiceover but I, I just need to get you guys caught up with the story. Once you guys are all caught up with the tea, we will do some let's plays. <laughs> Before now, I'm going to introduce you to the Daenerys. If you like this content, be sure to like and comment, and I'll make some more Sims videos. But we're going to dive into this. You're going to see a little bit of, you know, my whole cast experience. I'm going to create the Sims, move them on in, and let you know what's going on with these characters. So let's dive right in. Okay, so these are the Daenerys. Well, this one specifically, this is Fallon. So Fallon's actually a young adult. She lives with Nyani, who's her grandmother. So a little backstory with Fallon, because I was trying to figure out like why Fallon would be living with her grandmother. And I already had some ideas of where I wanted her to go career-wise. So I low-key wanted her family to have been murdered, which is terrible. I feel like every every video I'm watching lately, I'm so grim. <laughs> but Fallon's family. Okay, maybe they weren't murdered. Maybe they were just suspiciously killed. But she's very suspicious of it. And she does think they were murdered. So it kind of, kind of leads where she's going career-wise. And I can't entirely remember, like, what all of her traits are. But I know she does have the evil trait, which has become a problem lately. Like, when it started off, she was kind of chill, laid back. I feel like she was just trying to figure everyone and everything out. And she was kind of pleasant to be around. But the longer I play her, I'm like, okay, this bitch is one, she's a little petty, she's mean as hell. <laughs> she has a boyfriend now, and they're constantly going at it, because she's always snapping lately. But anyway, Fallon, her parents were both, you know, very suddenly killed, both of them together. She's the only child, and she was sent to live with her grandmother, who she actually wasn't very close with. I haven't decided if it's going to be her like paternal or maternal grandmother. I low-key think it should be her paternal grandmother because Miss Niani, Miss Granny over here, knows nothing about raising a teenage girl. So I feel like her experience would have been with the father. Um, and also, also, also <laughs> like her parents weren't extremely well off. Like they actually started life a little more comfortable the sims I've played in the past like you know there's always that struggle like you try to buy a house and then all of a sudden you have no simoleons left they actually still have money left so I feel like you know they were written into her will she got a little bit of money she didn't get that much to make her rich or anything but um grandmother also decided to start over so they moved together to a new city and it's new for Fallon here, and it's new for Niani. Fallon just finished high school, so it was kind of good timing. I mean, granted, it's never good timing for your parents to be murdered or, you know, possibly killed. <laughs> um, but yeah, Fallon, it gives Fallon some time to really obsess. So she was actually accepted into some universities. She decided to put it off because she just can't deal with all that right now and like it's understandable so like her guidance counselor understood her grandmother understood she told her grandmother that she has plans on coming and living there and her grandma was like you know what just chill out I've got you we've got some money to take care of us for a little bit um but Fallon's gonna insist on actually going to work because she's really trying to get in with the people that are gonna help her look a little deeper into her parents case like she doesn't know where to start she doesn't know anything about that life she like didn't really pay attention to high school <laughs> so she wasn't that good at anything coming out but um she's really she's gonna get in with the right people they're gonna show her the way she's gonna figure some things out but homegirl's a struggle <laughs> 
So like present day, meanwhile, caught up. You, you're gonna see her make her first friendships and relationships here, but like currently she has this boyfriend she's been with for a while, and they're so up and down because her evil traits just keep kicking in out of nowhere. And I'm like, girl, we gotta figure this out. And also, she's not all that tight with her grandmother. Like, at this point, she's li been living with her grandmother for a while, and their relationship still isn't there because there's something kind of dramatic that happens in the very beginning of their relationship, and Fallon doesn't trust her grandmother at all after that. Um, so, we'll see that in this video, like, what all that tea was about. But yeah, I didn't really know where I wanted to go with her look. I found, so most of this is CC content that I found on like Tumblr and stuff. Um, I don't have any mods or anything installed for this game, but I got a lot of CC content in terms of clothing. But all of this is from a previous save, so I didn't get anything like thinking about her character. I kind of wish I would have, because um, it doesn't quite feel like it's her style, but I feel like, you know, it'll do. We got a couple of different types of outfits, but... You know, I think we definitely have to do, get a lot more CC content and maybe do like a whole haul or something because it's not enough at all, but I love her hair. I love like her little tattoos. I feel like I kind of know where I'm going with her style-wise, um, but yeah, it was a struggle. <laughs> this one, I think, I was trying to figure out her formal outfit, but like I wanted it to be a little quirky. Like she's, you know, just out of high school. She's not yet all that mature so she she's being dramatic it's her first time like she doesn't have her parents around telling her what to wear all the time or telling her like yes or no so she's like having some artistic liberty with her style so I'm hoping to show that I'm gonna have to get more content to really show that because I think she's looking a little basic and one thing to note here look at nice like how nice and slim and trim she is right now because she does not stay this way homegirl homegirl likes to eat <laughs> Maybe that's why she's been cranky too. People keep denying her food because she's supposed to be on a diet. But anyway, this is Grandma. <laughs> so this is Niani. So she's an elder. I wanted her to kind of have that classic grandmother look, but also a little quirky and cool because there's some things we're going to find out about Grandma. Like one, she hasn't had a child in a very long time. She hasn't had to take care of anybody. She doesn't think Niani is a child. I mean, Fallon is a child. So that's like her first outlook to begin with. She does not think Fallon is a child. Doesn't feel like she needs to be treated as such. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'm going to let you, I'm going to speed through Miss Grandma's little makeover here. And then we'll talk about the story when we get started. Okay, so this is so cute. These are like their first moments in the house. When they first got there, a bunch of people came over, so they didn't actually have to like throw a party or invite anyone. All these people just showed up. And this dude, blonde dude, his name's Travis, he's actually gonna become a really close friend of Fallon. Basically her only friend, because you know homegirl has trouble making friends. And like, look at, look at this suspicious, suspicious old lady. I was like, what is she up to, first of all? <laughs> but, okay, so here's the situation with Fallon. So. Baby girl can't cook, and yeah, the most dramatic. <laughs> she gets set on fire. She's struggling. You see, Grandma's just back there, like, oh, I'm so stressed out for you, but I'm gonna keep my distance. Luckily, she gets the fire out because I wouldn't have known what to do if she actually died or like what that whole situation is about. So who knows? Fallon somehow extinguished herself <laughs> and took care of the fire. Grandma did not console her. She didn't do anything but try to rush her out the bathroom because she really had to pee. But then Fallon's like, you know, uh, I'm a little hurt right now. I think I've got some burns. I should go to the hospital. And Grandma's like, yeah, you do that. I'm going to go out and just like see what the town's about. So Grandma ends up going out to the bar 
she meets this woman. <laughs> so uh, this woman doesn't pop up much often, but yeah, grandma decides to go to the bar. So Fallon's like, all right, I'm in pain. I'm going to go take myself to the hospital in the city that I've never lived in before. All right, you go do you. Fallon doesn't exactly know where grandma went, but she knows that she was not trying to go with her to the hospital for whatever reason. So, you know, grandma may have her reasons. Niani may have her reasons for not wanting to go to the hospital. She did just lose her child. So I don't know what the story was, but she didn't want to go. She wanted to go to the bar and she meets a little miss over here. I actually can't even think of her name right now. That's terrible. I'm going to, I'll write it in. I'll put it up in the corner somewhere because <laughs> this woman actually ends up becoming a big part of the story so we got to keep our eye on her but this is their first time ever meeting and they actually hit it off I never noticed little miss was being flirty but they just become really good friends from here but yeah Niani was mad that grandma didn't come so grandma makes it back before Niani gets back and Niani had nothing to say to her she was like you know what whatever I'm just gonna go spend some time on the computer. I'm gonna try to figure out what I want to figure out because I told you, Niani, not Niani, Fallon is trying to solve her parents' murder, what she presumes is a murder. Right now, you know, it's just written off as an accident. They're just dead, <laughs> which is not funny. I need to stop laughing at death. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but yeah, she, in the beginning, Fallon never wanted to leave her room. Like she wanted to eat her food in there, but she was like, you know what? I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna like try to see what granny's all about because again doesn't know her never spent any time together her parents lived in a completely different city than grandma so they never had time together um i can't remember oh so this is travis i think i told him not to come over because i really wanted to have this conversation with Iniani. like it was pleasant she didn't really get to what her issue was i told you back in this day Fallon was very peaceful and she was pleasant. She's a little pissed off that she also has to clean up all the ashes that burnt her body. And Yanni didn't even take care of any of that while she was gone. Like, what was she doing all this time? Little does she know, Miss Yanni was out at the bar. So here she is, like, doing some research, trying to figure out where she can possibly get a job or, you know, who's in town that could help her solve this case. Naturally, of course, she's like the police, right? If I can get in with the police department or some detectives, maybe they can point me in the right way for my parents. She was so into that computer for hours, so she finally took up Travis's offer, and they went out to the bar now. So she's like, I do need to be social. I need to have some friends. I also just need to see who's who in this town. So they went out dancing. <laughs> they got a little wild. She had a few drinks here. She met a whole bunch of people in the town. <laughs> She doesn't know how she feels about anybody, but she really didn't form any like good relationships this day out. Her, literally her only friend is Travis. Like, not that she stepped on any toes, but that was it. And then literally any person that came by, they invited in. But you can see here, things were getting tense. So she wasn't feeling grandma. Something slipped out about what happened. Grandma ended up leaving dinner and went out to like meet up with her own friends and just met a whole bunch of people in the city too. So like at this point, Fallon and Yanni are not on the best of terms because Fallon is very frustrated that, you know, grandma would rather be out socializing than helping me out. And Niani's just like, well, you know, you're grown. Some things you gotta take care of yourself by yourself. So anyway, Niani's always acting like nothing's wrong. Fallon's still a little peeled about it, but you know, she's got bigger fish to fry than this neglectful ass grandmother. And that's that. <laughs> So pretty much first the first few days in, all they do is socialize, try to meet new people. Fallon really gets tight with uh, Travis. She low-key has a crush on Travis at this point. That's why she came out here to see what that was all about and how to send that girl walking. Cause she was like, all right, enough of that. You're my guest. But Travis is also the one like trying to keep their relationship together. So we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Next episode, we'll have a lot more to talk about. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. If you do like Sims content on my channel, like I know I'm a Second Life channel, but I'm, you know, there are a couple other games I play. So I play The Sims sometimes. I play Dead by Daylight sometimes. So if you want to see other games or if you just want to see where the story with Fallon and Niani goes, let me know. I have a bunch of recorded clips and I'm now filming and like speaking. So... <laughs> We'll get back on track with some Let's Plays. That should be fun. But anyway, you guys...
Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you this Thursday for our Second Life 101 series. All right, take care.